Hi everyone, David Jackson here, slingandstonemarketing.com, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up a Let's Encrypt SSL certificate through the cPanel for SiteGround web hosting. If you do not already have web hosting, I highly recommend SiteGround, and one of the reasons why I switched from my old hosting provider is because SiteGround offers free SSL certificates for your domain name. They give you three plans to choose from for their shared hosting, and if you use the link below in the description, you can make sure that you always get the best deal that they have currently running, which at this time is 60% off of their monthly price. And if I scroll down, you can see that Let's Encrypt SSL certificates are available for free for each of their hosting plans. Full disclosure, I am an affiliate with SiteGround, and if you purchase any web hosting through the link below, I will get a commission. But as I said before, I highly recommend them, and they're actually saving me a lot of money every year because of this free SSL certificate that they provide. With my other hosting company, I was paying $35 per year, and that was per domain name, whether it was a main domain name or a subdomain name, each one needed to have its own SSL certificate. So I have about four different websites that I have running, and I also use subdomains for those websites. So the cost can add up pretty quickly. Okay, so let's get to it. What we're going to do is come up here and log in to our account. And that is going to take us to the accounts page. And we're going to go to the go to cPanel button and click on that. Now you should be looking at the cPanel homepage. So we're going to come down here to the Let's Encrypt and we will click on that. And that brings us to this page where you can manage your SSL certificates and you can see a list of the different domain names that you have certificates installed on. They also give you descriptions for the different features that you can have on the certificate such as the HTTPS enforce and also the external links rewrite. And the manage certificate where you can view your certificates keys or you can cancel an existing certificate for a domain name. So let's install a certificate on a subdomain that I created. So what we're going to do is come down here, choose the domain name that we want to install the certificate on, fill in our email address, and click install. Now it's going through, it's verifying the certificate, it's verifying the domain name. It should only take about a minute maximum before your certificate is installed and ready to use. And there it is. Let's Encrypt Certificate is now installed on our domain name. So then we are going to come up here and click OK. So all we need to do now is come down here and turn on the HTTPS Enforce. That will then give us a little message saying that we should check our website to make sure that everything is working properly making sure that we can still have access to the admin area and that our images and other assets are loading correctly. Then we'll just go and click OK. And now we will turn on the external links rewrite. And that gives us another message that tells us to check our website to make sure that everything is working correctly. And since this demo website is a brand new website and I don't have anything on it, there's not anything that I need to check. So I'll just go ahead and click OK. So now let's take a look in the web browser. If I come over here and I type in HTTPS, you can see that in the address bar, the lock appears, which means that we have a secured connection and that our SSL certificate is working properly. If you do not see a lock here, then that might mean that the web browser is detecting some resources that are not using a secured connection. So you need to get with your developer or someone on your team to make sure that everything that is being called from your website is using the HTTPS secured connection. 
Once you have verified that everything is using a secure connection, then you should see a lock here. If you are still having a problem with getting the lock to appear, then there are a couple of websites that you can use to test the SSL connection to your website. I'll put some links in the description below, but the one that I like to use is ssllabs.com because they give a thorough report of the secured connection and they would help you find out what might be going wrong. So we just put in for the host name demo.slingandstonemarketing.com and click submit and it will go through and check the secured connection making sure that everything is working properly and that there is nothing wrong with the certificate it will take a minute or two to go through the entire process once it is finished it will give you an overall rating and if you get anything less than an a then that means that there are some issues with the certificate or the secured connection and you should contact SiteGround to let them know the problems that you are having so that they can get it resolved quickly. And that's it. In a couple of clicks, you are able to install an SSL certificate on your website. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. It will give me an opportunity to help others. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to click the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comments, or topics that you want me to cover in future videos, leave them below in the comments section. And if you followed along with this video and installed an SSL certificate on your website, use the hashtag GiantSlayer in the comments below. It will let me and others know that you conquered this obstacle that was standing in your way from making progress. I thank you for taking your time to watch this, and I will see you in the next video.